The high fuel prices are affecting air travel, too. Ticket prices have no doubt gone up, but that hasn't stopped travelers from booking those flights. Way 31's Luke Hydash is live outside Huntsville International Airport with some tips to make your travel stress-free. Luke? Megan, some early morning travelers arriving here first thing in the morning at Huntsville International Airport. And they are not alone. 4,000 people a day expected to fly this weekend. And those are numbers that airport leaders say we saw before the virus even started. So things are definitely getting back to normal here. And if you are one of those travelers, well, airport leaders have got some tips to make this a stressful, stress-free, I should say, trip for you over the weekend. First things first, they say get to the airport early. That's always a good idea. 90 minutes opt to do the trick and make sure once you get here you have all of your paperwork a driver's license or some other type of photo id and a passport if you need it know the tsa rules a lot of the rules that were changed because of the virus are now back to normal so familiarize yourself there and the big one remember that when you're here you're not going to be by yourself we're anticipating uh, this summer we should be right right in line with pre-COVID numbers. I heard it said the other day. So uh, we're looking for a, a lot more traffic in the airport, a lot more leisure travelers, a lot more families are what I'm seeing from my perch above baggage claim. You may be wondering about that photo ID. You've heard a lot about that star that needs to be on it. Well, you've got some time. Not until May of 2023 do you need to get that done. So about a year from now, you've got to get that knocked out. But for now, anybody traveling this weekend, you're good to go without that little star on your ID. Reporting live this morning at Huntsville International, I'm Luke Hydash, Way 31 News.